What's up guys, it's me Zamilar and welcome to Deep Archimedia. I believe this is 11. Um, I have a rather quiet voice today because it's late at night right now and I don't really want to disturb anyone else in the household. But I did want to at least give a voiceover for this. So, for this week's Archimedia, I am bringing your rally. With Loyal Merlina, Surging Blades, We've got Arcane Avenger, since you really could benefit from that. Well augmented for obvious reasons. When I think about it, I should probably swap this out for Arcane Aegis on your rally, because uh I don't wanna disrupt my Latum, because that's one of the weapons I need for this. But this is moderate, a little bit of duration, a lot of strength. That said, I I have no idea how well Aqua Blades are gonna work here because abbreviated abilities is back with a vengeance. Anyway, I have three Archon shards, all for secondary crit chance. This is making me not want to not use a Latum and instead new core, so I might as well. All this stuff. I've got so much stuff on this build disincentivizing second <laughs> disincentivizing the devouring attrition that I might as well just not use Latum. Um uh, and I think about it. Let's I might go ahead and just go for 34 points again. I think 37 is probably a bit ambitious. But anyway. We have Synapse as our primary rifle. I don't I apparently still don't have an arcane adapter for it. Which is funky as hell, but okay. So we got a Viral Corrosive build with crits, well with good crits and Hunter Munitions. I found this weapon to be really, really good at cutting through hordes. Not blasting the bits like AoE weapons, just cutting through them like a knife. Anyway, next up we have Nucor. I primarily use this as a I'm gonna be honest, I don't really I don't really use the new core to begin with. <laughs> but anyway. I have a feeling we're gonna be using new core pretty religiously this time. So we've got a good amount of crit chance, crit multiplier, and then doing heat and radiation, even though I should probably do like viral. Uh, how would that look right now? And I think about it, how much did that? I think it'll work. Anyway, um, one of our weapon, our arcane here is Cascadia Flare, because Nucor applies a lot of heat stacks. And then melee weapon, I'm going with what is essentially my old reliable at this point. Which is the melee influence Prisma Oma. Hold on. Ow. Random sneeze jump scare. Anyway. Uh, companion, I'm gonna bring Nautilus again. You know, just the same old build that I've been bringing for every previous Archimedia run. <laughs> so, grouping with status priming. To think about. I'm gonna. I want to take a moment to think about my focus here. So, the Niner might not be the best choice considering the modifiers. I took like a very quick look at it, at the um, the modifiers for the Sarcopedia, and saw that we can't use operators. So, focus point focus choices are going to matter quite a lot. Um, honestly, Bizarre is probably the best choice. I would say Bizarre is probably the best choice for, for the instant revives, but Zenuric is also a good choice for the energy management. But... 
I want to be sure to have that fallback card in my hands, so the Zarn is. Uh, yeah, I've abbreviated abilities, fractured armor, which doesn't matter for me, ammo deficit, we and transference alone. distortion. We must oh god, man. We must die. This one's gonna suck. We fail, we fail life itself. Alright. Should we succeed? May our sacrifice be forever unknown. With me, friends! To war! So, Fractured Armor is probably not going to matter very much on your rally, considering she, considering the way I have her built, she's more of a shield tanker. Abbreviated abilities won't affect Marilina, so I'm not obligated to give much of a crap about it. Ammo Deficit will obviously impact ammo, and Transverse Distortion is why I swapped my focus to Vizarin. Anyways, mirror, mission one is mirror defense with eroding senses, which makes the Oracle of Vitrium take damage over time. Collecting the Vosphines will halt the degradation. Post mortal surges and entanglement. So, yeah. Alchemy is. Hazardous goods with hostile regen and bold venture, but alchemy is a freebie to begin with. And then the third map is survival with hostile support, luring dogs, and explosive potential. Uh, I. Of these three, I think mission two is going to be the easiest. And then survival and mirror defense are. Both gonna suck. <laughs> but let's try it, shall we? Remember, our aim is to safeguard And I'm on invite only. Hold on, let me go on back here. I need you help to help you. Alright, let's do this. So just so this video doesn't take literally forever. Let me turn down Warframe audio a little. Just so this video doesn't, you know, lot doesn't last for like three hours or some craziness. Just so this video doesn't last a really long time, I am going to like I'm going to probably stop the recording after like two or three attempts and we'll see how things play out but yeah but why is my Miralina element so far like the rest of everything also lag frame lag frame my beloved On that note, that, that is something I. On that note, that is something I've been meaning to. Maybe not meaning to talk about, but it is certainly a concern of mine because it could have, it could potentially affect my streaming habits and all. Is that I've noticed that the connection has become increasingly spotty for me as of late. Like I can't even like sometimes I can't even play Genshin for two minutes without the without the game going like oh I'm reconnected to the server you stand by I've noticed things are stuttering a little in Warframe as well which implies lag. See like the Vosphine Glyph counter on the left just now it paused. Obviously, I'm there. Obviously, I don't think anybody's the biggest fan of lag to begin with, but when it's as prevalent as this, uh, I think it's not necessarily a problem. I think it's more of like a problem with a 
I, I, I don't know. But I'm pretty sure my, uh, I'm pretty sure my Wi-Fi adapter isn't very faulty right now. If it is, then that's a problem, because I got this thing, I got that adapter literally a month ago, so... I would expect it to last longer, you know? But I don't think that it's that. I think maybe the router needs a, rest a restart or something like that. I don't really know. I also, you know, it's also not really something I've experienced with, so... If anything, I dare say the only thing I've experienced with is playing games and making content. <laughs> Running low on energy on running low on Duco Rambo, so For a bit, and instead use the synapse. Also, fun fact about Yorelli, she's very durable. I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys know that I haven't, you know, I haven't lost my shield once yet. Yep. Oh. Well, speak of the devil. Here, Lena broke. Rally's definitely one of my, she's definitely one of my more favorite frames, especially now with the, uh, especially now it's her new augment. I'm gonna do my best to deal with this bugger before he gets in close. So help me, Mirlina. Something is kind of heavily damaging the vitrium. I'm not a very, I'm not a very big fan of that. Hey. Okay. All right, we protected the vitrium. That's a good. Uh, Y'all I lion. Whatever that name is. Oh, I don't know. Let's see if I can't save him. Bro, what the hell is Well Well, I'll be the one to res him. Volunteers tribute. I'm gonna trip it immediately because I because I want as much help as we can get. I want as much help as we can get for this, and the longer Zach remains dead, the more of a problem that will be. And that's how. That, my friends, is how you res. That, my friends, is how you resurrect a Zaku. You deep Archimedia. Um, the Warframe audio is still a bit loud for me, so. I turned it down a little further so you guys can actually hear me now. So I'm you know, not having to raise my voice and stuff like that. I don't want to be raising my voice right now. Um, 
couple things to talk about. I'm what I'm thinking here. I guess first things first is about Trove, which is a game I don't even play anymore. But the, the reason why I want to talk about Trove is because a content creator I watch, Sayushi, he talks about Trove, right? That, I like his content, you know? I think he's, I, I really think he's a genuinely good creator, you know? He knows what he's talking about, he knows how to get the point across. So, I quit Trove a year ago. Like, this is just my personal thing about Trove, is I quit it a year ago. And I've never looked back. Honestly, because my personal gripe with Trove, right, and this is why I vastly prefer, like, Warframe or Terraria over Trove, is because, to me, Trove feels extremely samey, you know? There's nothing you do on Trove but pop into a randomly generated world of, like, the same three gen generic sub-biomes, or whatever, and you just constantly freaking spam dungeons or whatever. That, that feels like the only gameplay you do in Trove. You know? And me, I, I got bored of that cycle. So that's why I quit. But anyway, um, I'm getting off track. I'm, I'm off topic here. So anyway, apparently they're adding, like, a new level of gear to Trove and whatever, I'm just sitting here thinking, that's crazy, man. I can't tell but or I can't tell but notice that we seem to be struggling at protecting the Vitrium, which I am not very happy about. My response to that is, do better, party mates, because I'm doing what I can. Lag or no lag, I'll figure it out. Obviously, I'm joking. I don't expect them to do better. I'm sure they're doing their best. Oh, I, I think we got this. Still, I can't help but be worried about you know, fear of, about this fear of defense. Oh. You know, if something gets too close to the Vitrium, it can very easily destroy it. You know, and that's, that's the issue here. So my main goal is really just suppression. Keep things away. If we can prevent them hitting the Vitrium, then cool. Anyway, uh, throw. Right. That was too predictable. Sensors remain intact. You can congratulate yourselves later. New order. Anyway, um, Trove, right. Just talking about that. Um, to me, Trove is <laughs> very samey and very boring. I'm honestly impressed I stuck with it for so long. Alright, we need elements and we are short on time. No time for a conversation, All right. just go. Well, I should, I should probably just be finished talking about Trove. I, I don't really have much positive to say about it these days. But I don't regret my choice of quitting it. You now there's really not much I regret in life at all. You know, I made my choices. Might as well just live with them. Anyway. Uh, 
Something else I can talk about is Genshin Impact, actually. So, when I released the Deep Media video last week, Genshin Impact had updated to version 4.7, and I had gotten Clorand, who I was waiting for, for literal months. And I can confirm to you guys that my pulls for Clorand went very well, and that I'm going to be releasing a video this weekend about her, for that matter. I actually want to start making more videos about Cloran because I personally think she's a very cool character. Not only that, but I'm down bad as all hell for her. So, uh, my pulse went insanely well for Cloran, maybe a bit too well. So, obviously I got Cloran herself, you know. But the real kicker to me is what happened after, right? So, I did like, I was, my pity count on the weapon banner, because I decided to go for her dedicated weapon, Absolution. My pity count on the weapon banner was that maybe like 10 or so after having gotten the Thunder Pulse, right? So. I do another 10 pull. Right, I do a 10 pull, you know, just like the first one of the banner, I'm not expecting anything. But then, that's where it gets funky. Right, it already got funky within the first 10 pull, because I skipped it. You know, not expecting anything out of it, just, just, just like, I'm just building pity to get absolution. That's all it is. But when I look at the wish results screen, I kid you not, and I, I, I verified it myself multiple times, I was not hallucinating. There was an Aquila Favonia and a Light of Foliar Incision, which is another very good weapon. That was in the first temple. I sent the screenshot of it to my friend on Discord and, well, <laughs> It was fucking envious. <laughs> and, um, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, this this kind of luck, it doesn't happen to me in gacha games, okay? It doesn't happen to me. Like, sure, you can get lucky, but it's never you got that lucky. Also, I'm not gonna go knock. I'm not gonna go stop that. <laughs> Man, my point is, you can get lucky in Genshin and all, but it's almost never that lucky. But if you guys think that was the end of it, oh, no, 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 we're, we're just getting started, alright? So after the, after the shocker and sledgehammer of me getting Lo-Fi and the, um, and the Kila Favoni, huh? I'm doing more pulls, right? You know, I've I had like 300 pulls saved up total for Floran and all. And then I do another, you know, another few ten pulls to build up pity and all. And then I hit the next, I hit the next pity, right? And then I skipped the temple animation there again. And then, I'm not hallucinating again. Two absolutions. Okay? It would have been crazy. Like, I, it would have been fine if I got one absolution because, you know, I'd already hit, I'd already hit pity. I had two fate points from Lo-Fi and the, uh, and Aquila Fedonia. That's fine and dandy. But no, it was two absolutions. The, the fate point absolution and a duplicate. So, 
That was very interesting. And I'm like very shocked about that all happening. To me, all people. You know? I mean, after after the travesty of Honkai Star Rail, that was me not getting basically anything I put, could have wanted in the game for a year straight. That was like the last thing I expected. Also, I'm not sure if you guys couldn't tell, but I've literally stopped giving a crap about the, those stupid alarms. Where is... Say, I'm glad that these, um, the bizarre charges are on a permission basis. Uh, anyway, so the Genshin story that is admittedly not where this ends, it got crazier. So I'm staring down at the wish banner with like 70 spare wishes, well like more like 90 spare wishes just because of how well everything went for me. And I decided, you know what, why not shoot for C1? You know, if you get if you get a character, if you get a duplicate of a character, you can get their constellations. And for Cloran, C1 was really not that bad. No, it's like it's like a 25% DPS boost or something is what my friend told me. So I went ahead and hit it. So you know, 90 pulls in. I hit the 50/50. You now I click through the wishes and C1. So you're like, I've just won two character 50/50s in a row, and also count. Four or five star weapons, and a total of maybe a hundred wishes tops. I should know, it's more like 80 wishes, not a hundred, like 70 to 80. And not only that, but the weapons I got were two instances of double temples. So, you know, now that has been thinking, what the fuck? Today was blessed. <laughs> so of course, after that, I go through, you know, I go through the character power-up process with Chlorand. I'd pre-farmed all the materials and all, so I was able to just level 90 her, level 90 her weapon, and just full blast her all the way to max, and to like maxed out, as maxed out as I could possibly get Chlorand. That's how far I went. So, she's triple crowned, level 90, level 90 weapon, good artifacts, constellation level 1, and, oh my god, she is just stacked to the nines, dude. You have no idea. So, of course, then I, I decide, you know, after that, and I'm, like, running through some Overworld stuff with Chloran. I decided to I decided to push her limits a little. I go into the abyss. Chloran, just complete notif, solo floors nine and ten, and with, with a little bit of difficulty, she solo floor eleven as well. So I was like, she's performing absurdly well so i figured why not why not see how well she'll do in a party and that's where floor 12 came so i did a new valette party in the first half and then the second half was chlorand in an overload party so 
for Genshin Impact's endgame, Spiral Abyss, there is a boss that applies elemental shields to itself. Right? And like... Like, sometimes they'll put a boss in there that shields itself, called the Iniquitous Baptist. This thing, I kid you not, is one of the worst nightmares that I've ever had to deal with in Genshin Impact. So I bring Clorand in there with an overload party, and I kid you not, it didn't even take 30 se it didn't even take a minute for her to have completely demolished that dude. It, the, the performance I have seen from Clorand is nothing short of absurd, guys. She may not be like Duvalet or Arlequino, but she will damn well do you proud. Like, there's no doubt about it. It's absolutely worth investing into her. I am partially saying that as a as somebody who's exceptionally down bad for Chloran, by the way. <laughs> okay. I gotta say, I, I appreciate the fact that they're spawning in the real Necromex. Let's let's knock his ass and like let's, lock, let's knock his lights out a bit, huh? Whoa, is it just me or is Duke or Ash dealing insane amount of damage? No, it's not just me, Duke is dealing an insane amount of damage. We also have the hostile support modifier, so there will be enemy Necromex soon. Told ya. Okay, if we can keep taking these things down with this efficiency, we'll make it through this in no time. Alright, I think we win. We got... Yeah, we got Baruch and Zaku. I think we just straight win. Hard Archimedia? Nah, I'd win. You know that meme? Nah, I'd win. Literally, literally us right now, for real. <laughs> Ah, damn it, you bastard, you finally got me. Okay, uh, first I wanna... Okay, Kuba Nucor is definitely my key here. constant 2000s man that's that's insane they all just one shot at Merlina what the fuck bastard's about to one shot me Oh, 
Well, I mean, somehow I just survived. I just somehow just survived a couple hits from that guy while I was on no shields. I mean, I think these two have it covered, but any damage that I can contribute will help, so... Why is it going higher and higher? Okay, I think we're providing a negligible amount of damage, but... As I said, any damage is better than none. So I'm just gonna stick with it. And I guess hope and pray that I'm actually doing something. Because I don't want to be just doing nothing. Oh, look at that. 24% of the damage. I'm not doing nothing. <laughs> I'm happy about that. That said, I'll also say one thing. Also, shield gating moment. That was pure fucking luck. Um, that said, I personally like to deal damage in these maps, but there's really no shame in being unable to deal damage, you know? Everyone's got the starting point. You can beach. You get what I mean? Everybody has a starting point. There's no shame in. No shame in having a starting point. Oh my god, man, I think I just get two shotted. Something just healed it. Okay, thank you. I was legitimately wondering if somebody would res me. Oh! <laughs> what even just did that? <laughs> I, I know they were trying to res me. They, they were trying to res me and something just yoinked them. actually never had that happen. <laughs> that is actually funny as hell, man. <laughs> I, I, I just go... <laughs> God, that sucks, man. I can't believe that happened. That just fucking sucks. Anyway. <laughs> um, anyway, I, I think this Archimedia is a wrap. Everyone intact? Check yourselves for signs of gills, monsterism, optical poptitude, or the sniffles. I've, I've also never heard that quote from Lloyd before. Eric, please. You, you gotta get out of there, man. You gotta get out of here, bro. Well, I'll give him credit. He's smoothing. What? What? No, what? what is he? What, what is he doing? <laughs> uh, public matchmaking. What an ordeal. I guess he wants us to get the rewards too, which fair enough. I can I can settle with that. Let's 
So, as I said before, I'll do my best to help. What even just hit me? They honestly might just be better off leaving without me. <laughs> it's clear that Miralina didn't protect me against jack shit there. <laughs> That's right, come on, get out of there. Thank you. Thank you very much, because I got the rewards too, it seems. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, honestly. A well-oiled machine is truly a thing of beauty. And the thing is, I don't care that I died a couple times. It was for the cause. Alright, well, all that is said and done. This was... This was an easy Archimedia in the end. Except for the parts where it wasn't, I suppose. Um, that said, I ran out of things to talk about. And, well, if you liked the video, feel free to like. If you really enjoyed it, feel free to subscribe. I'm posting these Archimedias weekly, so. You know, doing my best to stick to Wednesday uploads on the Archimedias with the occasional side video. By occasional, I, I really do mean occasional. I, I'm glad to be here. I've been kind of slacking off in uploads. Anyway. <laughs> A new day anyway, guys, rest assured, um, Claran's boss, Claran's video for Genshin Impact is coming this Saturday. And I need to start editing my Wukong video. Without 1,000 hours of Wukong. Alright. We're so close yet. So far from making the... You know, I gotta edit the video. I think it'll be around 6 minutes long. Of just pure Wukong action. Anyway. That said... I said like and sub if you've liked the like and sub and I'll see you guys around peace